I normally do it myself, to be honest. Bit hard, <laughs> it goes everywhere, but yeah, I do normally do it myself. <laughs> to do it. I literally did a TikTok the other week of me trying to scale my own teeth. <laughs> I started choking on the water. <laughs> For me, I think the reason why I wanted to become a dental hygienist was I originally started as a dental nurse. After working as a dental nurse for a few months, I quickly realised that I wanted more responsibility and I wanted to actually look after the patients themselves. The easiest way to explain what a dental hygienist does is your dentist looks after your teeth and your hygienist looks after your gums. Without a strong gum foundation, your teeth don't have healthy structures. I definitely think that cleaning teeth is really satisfying. I love doing before and after photos and showing the patients their before and after photos. Sometimes the patients can't believe the actual difference that a dental hygiene appointment can make. Bang, bang, hit that frame. Let me see you do your thing like whoa. Hi Evan, how are you? Not too bad, how are you? Not too bad at all, thank you. So we're booked in for your Zoom tooth whitening today. That's right. I've got a little bit of information for you to read through and sign. So there's two sides, a little signature at the bottom. You can take a seat and fill that in for me and then Louise will pinch it from you when she shows you through. Okay, so Thank you. Today I am seeing a patient called Evan for whitening treatment. The whitening treatment involves four 15 minute intervals of in-surgery whitening. Pop, pop, we don't stop. Let me see you pop and drop like whoa, like whoa, like whoa. Hi Evan, you okay? Hi, I'm okay. Have a seat when you're ready. Thank you. My name's Louise and this is Nikita. We're going to be seeing you today, okay? Okay. So you were in with the dentist last week and they've referred you over for whitening. Have you ever had whitening done before? I haven't, no. Okay. Just going to sit you back. The in-surgery whitening treatment works by first taking the impressions of the patient's upper teeth and lower teeth. The impressions are then made into whitening trays. After the patient has had the in-surgery whitening, which usually takes an hour to an hour and a half, they are then given the whitening gels and their impression trays to use the whitening at home. We usually recommend using the whitening treatment for at least two weeks to achieve optimum results. It's a long process, but it's definitely worth it. What I'm going to start by doing, I'm just going to do a quick clean just to remove any of the build-up before we do the whitening, okay? This is just going to be a too quick clean. So right now I'm just doing a quick clean-up of Evan's teeth before we start the whitening treatment. So with the whitening treatment, we do it in four 15 minute intervals, okay? So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna make some impressions of your teeth just for some whitening trays for you to use at home, okay? So with the whitening today, it's a hour's appointment and then we'll give you the whitening trays to take home with some whitening gel so you can keep up with the whitening treatment at home, Great, okay? okay? Have you ever had impressions done before? Uh, yeah, once yeah. before. Okay. So you know they're a bit of a mouthful. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Best advice I could give is just try and keep as relaxed as you can, okay? I'm going to start by doing the upper ones first, so if you could just rest your head back for me. Thank you. So now that the teeth are all clean, I am going to take some impressions of Evan's upper teeth and also his lower teeth. So the good thing is we do our impressions in-house, so it means you don't have to wait a week to have your whitening tray, so you can get on with the whitening as soon as you go home, okay? Taking impressions can definitely be messy, so the first steps of impression making is to mix the alginate with water. Once that is mixed, it can then be placed in the trays and then the tray is placed in the mouth. We then have to wait for the impressions to set. Once they've set, we then take them out of the mouth and then Nikita then takes the impressions upstairs to be made. So these are the impressions that Louise did to make the whitening trays. So what we do is we cast them up to make study models. And once these have done, we have this special little machine here that we pop, pop them on. And then we heat up this piece of plastic. And once this is heated up, we get to pull it down over the study model and it makes the whitening tray. And that's it really. 
really. I'm just shading up um, his teeth at the moment. So I usually shade up before the treatment and then after treatment just to see how many shades the teeth have lifted. So I'm going to say definitely this shade. So it's just a little whitening gel accelerator. So you just place it all over the teeth. Okay. Get this out the way. So I'm just going to use the light now. So we're going to leave that for 15 minutes and then once that 15 minutes is finished I'll take off the whitening gel and then reapply it again, okay? Thumb up if you're okay. Perfect. The whitening treatment is definitely a waiting game and you're constantly clock watching waiting for the time to finish. I'm running wild, love my style, so hot, I'm on fire. Hey, hey, so hot, so hot. I'm running wild, fresh and smile, yeah, I'm living my life. Hey, hey, I'm running wild. Three, two, one. All done. Just removing all the gels from the teeth surfaces and then I'm just going to take off and take out all this um, material. So with the whitening treatment finished and the teeth all nice and clean, it's time to show Evan the results. So that was your shade before and then for the lowers getting that shade and then for the uppers we're getting that shade. So they've lifted quite well. There you go. Oh amazing. What a little boss. I am really pleased with how Evan's whitening treatment went and Evan is really pleased with how the whitening treatment went himself. So we were expecting to lift the teeth at least two shades and we definitely achieved this. Evan has now got the whitening trays to continue on with the whitening at home. So to you how you want to use the whitening trays, if you're wanting a really bright white, I'd probably recommend sleeping in them. But you can just use them for up to 45 to an hour a day. Oh, okay? Not perfect. Okay, and you're all done for today. Thanks very much. No worries. Good to see you soon. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Bye. 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 Bye now. So I've just had Zoom whitening as we know and that took over an hour, four 15 minute applications. I try to put a brave face on sometimes with the dentist but it's not the most pleasant experience is it? I think today really shut that down. I'm already happy with the results and I can't wait to see how they can get even better from this point on. In a long day. <laughs> Lunchtime is one of the greatest parts of the day. I get to catch up with staff and also I love food. How did you start in dentistry? To be honest, through my mum. Really? Yeah, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Do you know what? I actually wanted to be a chiropodist. Yeah. One end or two and the other or what? Yeah, and then I went, we had like a careers thing at school and I went along and the, like you said, there's this big stand with these glamorous looking DSAs yes. as they were then. I thought, oh, I think I'll have a go at that. Yeah. And that's it. That's why I got into it. I remember seeing the girls in the corner and they were so beautiful and they looked pristine and they had the nails and the hair. And I used to think, I want to be just like you. <laughs> The one piece of advice I would give to anyone who wants to be a dental nurse is do not think it's going to be glamorous. I used to think, I used to see the girls in the corner, typing away notes, full face of makeup, hair, glamour. No, it is not glamorous. And how did you get into it? Um, I was a bit older, so I'd already trained as a hairdresser. All right. And then my sister-in-law's a dental nurse, and I just, I knew I didn't want to, I literally went straight into hairdressing after school because I worked there on a Saturday, so it was just an easy career just to fly into. And then I just said I wanted a career change. I think after working in dentistry since I've been 16, I've definitely learned um, how a dental practice works. I've seen from different members of staff, so starting from obviously receptionist, nurses, hygienist, therapist, dentist. It's really good to have that background knowledge and see what else you can do and progress into dentistry. I wouldn't totally close myself off to progress further into becoming a dentist. See, I'm a big, I'm a big soul group believer as well, me. I think you, your soul group finds yeah. your soul group. Yeah. 
I love our little mix of everyone. Like it's so oh, different. Yeah. Everyone comes yeah. from different paths of life, but we all get al get, like get along We're like a big family, which I love. Yeah, it is good. It is a good. Atmosphere. I just found when I was in school there wasn't a lot of career options. Like where in I just fell into something that I thought I wanted mm. to go into. But I always find in dentistry, you never have a job. Like there's not just the the dentist. There is other like therapists, hygienists dental nurses, practice managers. There's Receptionist, not just yeah. dentist. No, no. Definitely. That's not the only career that you can go down. And I think that's what people need to talk about is yeah. there's it's not true. just the dentist, it takes a team oh, to make the dental oh. surgery work. It's like, a, it's like a hidden thing, isn't it? Yeah. You don't, you don't see it. It's not advertised, come and see your hygienist. It's come and see your dentist every six months. Do you know what, I really like hearing all the stories of how people got started in dentistry because it's so diverse. Uh, there are people like myself who fell into it accidentally. There are people like Jen who knew from you know work experience that she was gonna go on and be a dentist. Um, Hannah the artist then became dentally focused. So it was, there's, there's a really broad spectrum of how we all came together to be in this one building. I got it like that. This is Aaron. Yeah, it is, yeah. Lovely to meet you. It's your first, first visit at the practice today. Yeah. I've got a medical questionnaire for you to fill in just while you're waiting. If you can fill in the front, the middle, a little signature on the back, and then when Jen, the dentist that you're seeing today, comes out to collect you, she'll take it from you. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. So today I'm meeting Aaron for the first time for a new patient consultation. Um, I believe he wants to look at straightening his teeth, so what we'll do today is I'm going to do a 3D scan of his teeth just to see where we can get him to and if we can help him out with that. Hi Aaron, come uh, on in, okay? okay? I'm right. good, thank you. I'm Jen, nice to there meet you. There you go, nice to meet you. Do you want me to take that? Take a seat. So, I'll have, what I'll do today then, we'll do a checkup. I'm going to check your soft tissues, teeth, gums, we'll get some x-rays if you need them of your back teeth and then I'll go through all your options in terms of your cosmetics, sound okay? Yeah, perfect. Perfect, right, pop ah. your head back there for me. Thank you. Do you smoke at all, Aaron? No. And just roughly how many units of alcohol would you drink a week, if any? Oh, Pint let's, say, let's say four, okay. not maybe six. <laughs> when I ask patients how many units of alcohol they drink a week, um, the a lot of the time people don't tend to know how many units are in certain drinks, so you know, the conversation sort of steered towards, okay, there's X amount of units in this certain drink. Um, more so than then masking, I think a lot of people are used to being asked that question in a healthcare setting. Right, so I'll just check these and then I'll pop you up and we can talk through like what you want in long term and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just gonna check your soft tissues first, just make sure they all look okay. And just bite your teeth together for me there. And then just open again. And just pop your tongue out for me. And over into your left cheek. And then your right one as well. And up to the roof of your mouth for us. Wonderful. Right, I'm just going to blow a little bit of air onto your back teeth just so I can see them. Are you ready, Kaylee, for this? If I... Okay. Right, we've got upper right, eight, seven, six, five. Four's missing, face closed. Three, two, one, and then upper left, one, two, three. So when I'm calling these numbers out to Aaron and my nurse, what I'm doing, each tooth is given a specific um, number or term that we use to refer to it. And then the when we're looking at his gum health, there's a staging criteria, which is looking at whether the gums are healthy or there's a little bit of inflammation going on. Right, I'll just pop you up. I can't see anything obvious there. There's a tiny little bit of tartar building up on your bottom teeth, like on the inside by your tongue. Um, so what I'm probably gonna suggest is we just get you like an initial hygienist appointment. Um, the hygienist will take that away for you. Top right, there's a little bit of recession of your gum. Um, so I just think you're pressing too hard with your toothbrush, so just ease off on your brush in there. So now that we've done the checkup, everything's nice and healthy, and we know the what Aaron wants from the, the treatment, we can go ahead and um, start getting Aaron his dream smile. <laughs> I don't like how they overlap here. 
Right, okay, yeah. so the two front ones. Yeah. What I can see is that, as you say, the two front ones are crossed over. That being a little bit tilted back is making the one next to it look worse than it actually is. So if we do a, a mixture of bringing the central one in and yeah. that one out, it'll just even that up a little bit. So in terms of straightening your teeth, you do have um, a selection of options. We offer the clear aligners here. Um, I'm a dentist, I've gone away, I've done extra training in the clear aligner system, but I'm not an orthodontist. So, you know, the clear aligners are really only for like mild cases, which yours is. Um, the other option, if you do want like the comprehensive treatment option is going to see like a specialist orthodontist. They'd look at, you know, a lot of them do do clear aligners, but they also offer train tracks and things like that to make your bite perfect at the same time. If it is just, you know, the little aesthetic concerns that are Clear aligners look to be initially fine for your case. Clear aligners are an option to straighten your teeth, which are an alternative to the like train track style braces that a lot of people tend to default to. Um, I think they're becoming a lot more popular because they are a lot more discreet, um, but also sometimes the treatment length is shorter than going to see the orthodontist. Um, sometimes going to see the orthodontist is completely the best option for people, but for the milder cases, the clear aligners can often get you a really, really lovely result. So this is the 3D scanner, so it's just gonna take loads of little photographs of your teeth. It just saves you having to have those like gooey impressions that take ages to set. Okay, and if you just open the mic for me there. I'll show you this on here now. So yeah, so there's your T. So just as I was saying before, this bit, see here, is where you've had like a little bit of recession of your gum. Yeah. So there's your gum line and that, at, you know, at one stage is down here. So just when you're brushing, just ease off with the pressure up there. Similar on the left, but not so much. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, it all looks good. I mean, it seems, it seems like it's gonna be a really, really nice case in, you know, in my experience and in what I can see here. But as I say, we'll, we'll see what they come back with and then I'll see you in a couple of weeks and we'll yeah. um, make a plan. Sounds good. Sound good? Ta, perfect. All right. Ta, thank perfect. You. You're very welcome. Thanks for that. You're welcome. I'll see you next time. All see right. See you soon. Bye. Bye. I think Aaron's appointment went really well. He seems happy with the plan and I'm happy so far that we can go ahead. So we'll just see what comes from the hygienist appointment. Kaylee, thank you so much for today. I'll have a lovely weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye. Today I am seeing Aaron in surgery, who has previously been seen by Jen. Have you ha ever had a scale and polish done before? No. It won't hurt, but it might just feel a little bit sensitive just where the gums have receded. <laughs> So we've got these plans, Kaylee, for the new surgery. Have you seen them yet? Yeah. It looks really good. The practice is growing. Um, patients are finding it harder to get into dentists, so our patient base is expanding. It's so busy at the minute, I think it's going to be a huge um, load off. So today we've got Claire coming into surgery. She's got an old crown that is failing on one of her lower teeth. OK, let's have a look. Did it break, Claire, the crown? Yeah, it was like the bottom part right, of it, it came broke off. off. Right, yeah. okay. I have to warn her that the tooth may not last long. <laughs>